Shalom, who praises to Yahweh, Barsham, Yahweh, Shah, Barsham, Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and Shalom to the whole four letters. Paya Allah from the GMS London camp, coming back at you again with uh, some news, man, news and prophecy. Okay, we know the spirit of Yahweh, Shah, the spirit of prophecy, so he told us to watch as well as pray. So, when you go into the book of um, Matthew 24, Luke 21, it gives you various signs to basically look out for. And this sign, that this article is one of the signs that we're being told to look out for. This is impromptu, so I ain't read the article. I'm just going to go in the spirit and see what I can find in it. Blood moon on its way with God of War in tow. All right. So I believe that may mean in town, okay? So there's a diagram here showing how it's going to be. Where it says, be very afraid. A blood moon is coming accompanied by Mars, the god of war, shining more fiercely than it has for years. So it's saying that Mars is showing in the sky as well, which is a god of war. So that shows you that war is on the horizon. Okay, and we had Donald Trump. He been saying a lot of stout words. His words were more stout than his fellows. He been talking about Putin, saying that if Putin don't agree with him, he'll be a worse enemy than he could ever imagine. So that's showing you some shit, man. We're in that time, and Trump, it don't take much for him to really jump out his skin and do something in accordance with the spirit of the, of the word, man. Right, so it reads, it says a blood moon is coming accompanied by Mars the god of war shining more fiercely than it has for years. The longest total lunar eclipse of the 21st century is ex expected to occur on Friday July 27th. Okay? So the longest lunar eclipse of, of the 20th century, 21st century is expected to occur on Friday July 27th. Now This is this is new century, all right? And this is going to be the longest one ever. And we've had a slew of them happening back to back. So this just shows it's going to happen. All right. As it lines up with the earth and the sun, the rise and fall moon will darken and change from silver to rusty or dreadful blood red. The phenomenon struck terror into our ancestors and is still seen as a potent doom in some parts of the world today. And that's where it is. It is because if you understand the words of prophecy, then you understand. But today, you know, people rely on the science and all that. So they ain't looking for these signs, all right? So you got a picture here. Just Emma. And the CC's on it. You know, it basically shows um, how it's going to play out, all right? And the reason, in fact, it is caused by sunlight being filled. You know, this is all that science shit. You know, I mean, it ain't really relevant because at the end of the day, the point is, you know, Esau's falsely science so-called and that, that's going according to what geocentricity being the earth at the center of the universe when we know that the sun I'm so, it's lucky man that's Satan <laughs> heliocentricity being the sun at the center of the universe when the sun um, um, orbits around earth man Ge because we're in a geocentric universe okay where the earth is the center of the universe okay so this is all bullshit it's falsely science so called and um Basically, this is happening as a sign for us, those in the know, those that are the initiated, to be aware of what time we're in. All right. In fact, it's caused by sunlight being filled through. I'm not even going to read it. Fiery Mars will add to the spectacle as it appears directly below the, below the blood moon. At close to its maximum brightness. Okay, so, yeah. So it's saying it's really going to be visible. visible Funny enough, mainly in the Middle East. And you know what just happened down there? You had the state of Israel basically, um, well, not even declare themselves a state no more. They just declared themselves Israel and made Jerusalem the capital. And then look, look, this great sign has come to pass now, man. All right? So it shows you the Lord is, is, is not pleased in that. All right? Because that's basically uh, the dilution of the nation of Israel, man. All right, like basically it's a falsehood, and then it's a it's a big fucking no no against um, Esau and doing so because he basically 
the face and the face of the heavenly father and his son by putting themselves as the children of Israel. So the Lord is basically showing you, showing them and showing us that basically there's a day that's gonna come where he's gonna destroy them because of these things, all right? So he's Robin Skaggle, vice president of astronomy. Um, yeah, for people in the UK, the blood moon will rise in the southeastern sun already immersed completely in earth shadow moonrise will be at 2049 bst in london all right so we're gonna see it over here we know that one thing we know about the, the um the london in particular is basically this has been the uk has been set up as a new jerusalem according to um, william blake's um poem man jerusalem Okay, how they want to establish it as um, the New Jerusalem. And we know, if you know anything about the Meridian time zone, Greenwich, Greenwich time zone, basically that's set up for the sake of, of establishing that. England being the center of the universe. That's why it's the city state of the city of London is established over here. And it's a financial capital where all the Rothschilds, really the Rothschilds being the head banking family, you know, do their, orchestrate their business from. Okay, so with that, man, I'm just going to jump into the scripture. Let's read. Uh, is it Luke 21 and 25? And it reads, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity and a sea and the waves warring roaring so basically this is telling you that basically these are part of the signs of when you have a shirt coming because when you go to the top it outlines it said and he looked um, um verse 7 said and they asked him saying master but when shall these things be and what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass so he goes on to outline many different signs. And one of the key signs that we're witnessing in this day and age is these, total, these, um, these eclipses, these blood moons, which are being shown more and more forth in this earth as we, we presently live upon it, because the day is getting closer. This is like um, a woman in labor and her birth pains, man. That's what we're going through, right? But we're gonna be out of here in no time, man. It's why we gotta endure. So with that, I pray you're edified, shalom.